Hello everybody, this is King Tut here, and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to put in external library in Visual Studio Code in C++. So, before we begin, um, there's a few things you need before watching this tutorial. So, you need the MingW64, or at least MingW in general, the compiler, uh, GDP, so GDMB for the part of MingW, but for debugging as well, or else it's not going to work. And um, you need to have Visual Studio Code. So assuming you all have that, um, you're good to go and you could watch this video. Uh, so let's begin with opening folder and let's go to whatever you want to make your folder in. So I'm going to go to the desktop, I'm going to go to programming, go to C++, and then I'm going to make a new folder called ext, uh, how about, um, external library, let's just do that. And then go there and then you select folder. And yes, trust the authors and stuff. And then you make a new new file and then let's put test.cpp always you need to have the cpp extension or else it's not going to work so let's put in all the stuff make sure it works and then we could move on to the next step so let's put in let's print out a hello world so let's include iostream um, using namespace std and int main and let's do see out hello world followed by two exclamation point and let's end line and then let's save it no no save it here i accidentally press a control a and so in the newer parts of Visual Studio Code, it seems like they have this. So let's let's click on that. That's going to be debugging, and then pick the. Um, I I usually pick the top one. Oh, actually, no. Let's not pick the top one. Let's pick this one, here. So I'll I'll tell you why. Oh, there's no CMake. Okay, my bad. Let's, there you go. I just ran again. And it print out hello world. So everything is working. So I don't know well, what's what's the, the other part is about. I have no idea. Okay, so so the one that just says um, MingW64, don't worry about the URT. Uh, that's something else I have done. I was following a tutorial online on its website, but um, it's the, it's the same kind of thing you usually been doing. So if you watch my first Visual Studio Code video, um, those random tutorial, you'll understand what I mean. All right. So so once this is works, let's get into the nitty gritty. So first things first, you need to get into uh, make sure you have C++ installed, which I believe, which that's a necessity to run C++ code. And, and I think you go to extension settings and you go to, you scroll down until you get to uh, the include part. All right, let's scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and then you have this include path. Make sure this uh, this points to the include directory in my sys 64 mingw64 include. Once you made sure, then we could go to the next step. If it wasn't there, you could actually add an item 
and you could um, go to your folder here and go to your C drive. You could go to MySys 64, Ming W64, include, and then you click right here and an empty spot on this bar, and then it's gonna highlight the whole directory. You right click, click copy, and then you paste it over here. But I already have it, so I'm gonna click cancel. So the next step here is to download an external library through MySys2. So uh, I've put in, I've done Allegro tutorial, but for this video, I'm gonna do Raylib. I it's more of a recent library, and I really like their tutorial on their website and especially their sample code. So let's uh, get right to it. So all you need to have is pacman dash s and then you have ming w uh, all of this I'm gonna put this whole thing in the description then you press enter and then wait for it to install and then it's it's saying reinstalling I already have it installed and then the big Y means yes by default if you don't put any input so I'm just gonna put enter to make it yes by default and it reinstalled everything. All right, so once that's done, let's go back here. And also let's get, let's go to tasks. So make sure you go to the Explorer icon. You click on that Explorer icon, the one on the top here, and then you expand VS code and then you go to tasks.json we're gonna be adding uh, a few things here uh, just pretty much one thing so let's get some linkers here I'm also gonna put the linkers in the description as well so let's I'm gonna google some stuff so Raylib linkers uh, let's I don't know why Google is not getting me. Let's do Raylib tutorial. And let's go to, let's see. I'm pretty sure they have something for me to, I'm, I'm using another screen. So I'm using two screens, but I'm, I'm using the second screen. So that's why I'm trying to, there you go. All right, so you, I think you only put uh, L Raylib. So let's copy here. So you do it right here and you put it around these quotations. And make sure you put a comma here and that, that's pretty much it. You save it first, and then you go right here, and then let me copy and paste the source code, the example source code. Let me... There you go. And I'll link this examples right here so I got the source code from right here and I'll put this link in the description as well so let's so it's a bunch of stuff here and who knows I might be doing a Raylib tutorial uh, sooner or later so stay tuned <laughs> all right so let's get let's uh, bring back the terminal so I pretty much for the sake of space there you go <laughs> um, for the sake of space I basically uh, hit the terminal and I click on debug and it says uh, it 
gave me errors. So why is there an error? So there's no no such file or directory. That's interesting. Oh, that's why. I think I know why. There you go. So let's change it. Raylib should it should work. Why why am I not? That's interesting. That never Oh yeah, that's why. All right, so right here this is wrong actually. This whole thing this whole task here is wrong. It's not UCRT 64, it's supposed to be Ming W 64. So right here, Ming W 64. So I'm just going to copy this part here. So just go make your cursor right here. Press shift and then highlight that part. Control C. And then you control V right there and everything should be fine. And it's actually building it and actually it's doing its thing. And right here you got the sample code and the sample window. Congrats. You have created your first window. If you got that, then congrats. You did it. So that's how you put in external library. If you're doing in SFML, they have their own linker, but make sure in the C++ configuration, it's point to that certain uh, place, that certain include place where the all the include files for that external library is. If you're using Mysis 2, it's very easy. You could just only point to that certain compiler you're using to that include folder. So I hope this tutorial helps you. And if you really like this video, please like and subscribe. And also share this video with other people who are struggling with this. And comment, let me know what you think. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.